Hello everyone, Hamil here. Just updating on my position on CVS. I had a comment in uh, for my video about uh, what what now after the earnings. So again, these are just my thoughts and what I am planning on doing with my position. So let's see here very quick. So uh, I did hold everything through earnings as per my plan. So today was a brutal day, as we can see a bearish engulfing pattern, a huge red candle which engulfed all the candles before. So several days, about 20 days, uh, just approximately. Huge volume, so this was institutional selling because you know individual investors, they are not going to create such a huge volume there. Now, I was, uh, my, my comment before was, are we going to get a leg up? And the comment was based on what I explained in the video I posted a couple days ago. I don't exactly remember, was it yesterday or day before? So I, I'm going to continue to hold this, uh, you know, and I explained what the reason was in uh, getting involved in this stock. So the same reasons stays, not much has changed. Earnings, uh, there was not uh, much unexpected in the earnings. They were they're just uh, moving smoothly forward post COVID. So everything is looking okay. Now there wasn't any upside surprise. So obviously so we didn't get any benefit out of the earnings report now another thing very important in my opinion is to look across the sector and see what other stocks did so none of the other stocks helped CVS's cause either so now this is down almost five percent when you look at uh, best-in-class United Healthcare on the insurer side that was down one percent one point one percent and I was hoping to see this move up to 50 day moving average obviously that's not what is working now so we'll have to see so when you look on the insurer side uh, you can see united healthcare was down uh, let's look at cigna down 1.77 percent uh, we can look number right there for everything here uh, let's look at humana which is underneath 200 so it's not doing well either down 1.44 percent uh, let's look at one more anthem right at 200 so we want to see these stocks do well because CVS goes pretty much the way these stocks go because a lot of its business is insurance business. So Anthem was down 0.36%. So we want to see these stocks find support at least at 200 day moving average. Looking on the retail side, we have Walgreens here, which was down 2.46%. And then right, it was down almost 10%. So 10.05%. So as we can see, all this did not help CVS's cause either because the entire sector was down. Now, the implied move was between uh, these two lines and I had posted, uh, I do not believe I covered in this, this in the video that I had posted, but I did send a tweet out yesterday explaining the implied move as per options market. So I was expecting a move within this range. So honestly, this is not unexpected. As you can see, it found support right at the lower, lower end of the range. However, I was hoping it will go the other, other way. It did not go. Obviously, we don't always get what we want or what we think. I still, based on my analysis that I had posted, I still believe CVS moves up. I don't know exactly when. And we don't really know which path this is going to follow. Does this come down more? Does 150-day moving average catch up? Does it find support at 150? It consolidate and then move up from there. So we don't really know. So next couple days would give us more flavor. And then let's see how this week closes, which would also give us some flavor. Now, when we look at a very long term trend, we can see this is a monthly chart. We can see a nice base, solid base forming. Uh, you can say it's a double bottom. It's a W. You can see you know, it forming a W. So there should be some kind of consolidation here. And then if it breaks through, uh, that $70, $76 value, then it, this can go substantially higher. It has a lot of room to run. So we'll have to see where this goes. Again, I continue to hold. I will continue to hold. I At some point, I will have to sell some of my position, which is right here. The cost basis is at 71.49. So those are the uh, shares I'm going to sell at some point. But as you can see, there are all different kind of prices where I bought then there was also one position which I added right around there, right around here. So I need to mark that as well. So that is all I have. Uh, I will update if uh, if I see something important. And I hope uh, it works out for us at the end of the day. So I hope everyone is doing well. That's all I have. 
Take care.